Now let's process a chip card. First we'll sell some items and then we'll select F10 to finish the sale. In this example we'll choose credit card as the method of payment and the customer will then be prompted to insert, tap, or swipe their card. Once that is complete, the customer will be prompted to approve the transaction amount. This card contains a PIN code, so they must enter their PIN. And then once approved, the customer will be prompted to remove their card from the PIN pad. And finally, they will be prompted to enter their signature. In our example, we have the system set up to show the signature on the POS screen. So once the signature is entered, the cashier simply selects OK. And the transaction is complete. Now let's process a non-chip card. First, we'll sell some items. And then we'll choose F10 Finish to complete the sale. In this example, we'll choose Credit Card as the method of payment, at which point the ISC250 will prompt the customer to insert, tap, or swipe their card. In this case, we'll swipe it. And then the customer will be prompted to approve the transaction amount. Once the credit card has been approved, the customer will be prompted to sign the PIN pad. In our example, we have the system set to show the signature on the POS screen. Again, this is an optional setting. And once the signature appears on the POS screen, the cashier can simply approve that signature by tapping the OK button. And then the sale will be complete. There may be times when a customer must enter their card information manually, so let's take a look. First we'll sell some items, and then we'll finish the transaction with the F10 finish key. In this example we'll choose credit card as the method of payment, and then the customer will see an option to manually enter their card information on the ISC250. Upon selecting that option, they can enter their credit card number, followed by the enter button. And then the expiration date, followed by the enter button. And the CVV. Once this information is entered, the customer can then approve the transaction amount. And once the transaction is approved, the customer will be prompted to sign the ISC250. In this example, we have the system set up to show that signature on the POS screen. Again, this is an option. And once the signature is entered, the cashier can approve that signature by selecting OK. And then the transaction will be complete. And that's it.